NBC's Ken Delanian covers national security and is on our top story tonight. How serious, how credible this, Ken? Hey, Shep. A senior law enforcement official tells us that this talk of blowing up the Capitol while concerning is not considered a fully hatched plot, and that actually authorities are more concerned about violence on March 4th. That was Inauguration Day until 1937, and it's now a day that QAnon conspiracy theorists believe that former President Donald Trump will retake power. So authorities want to be ready for that. Meanwhile, Shep, the Biden administration is moving to step up, step up efforts against domestic terrorism. Uh, Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas today announced $77 million in new grants to state and local governments to target violent domestic extremists, which he called the most lethal and persistent terrorism-related threats to our country today. And in her testimony to Congress today, acting Capitol uh, Police Chief Yogananda Pittman really said that the people who attacked the Capitol on January 6th posed a direct threat to democracy. Take a listen. We know that the insurrectionists that attacked the Capitol weren't only interested in, attack in attacking members of Congress and officers. They wanted to send a symbolic message to the nation as of who was in charge of that legislative process. Chef, the government is also trying to uh, step up its efforts to collect intelligence about domestic terrorism amid deepening questions about whether January 6th was the result of an intelligence failure. Because acting Chief Pittman told lawmakers today that the Capitol Police had information that violent militia groups armed were going to be present at that January 6th Stop the Steal rally and that they might attack Congress. But she said there was no credible intelligence from the FBI or any other agency that a coordinated attack on the Capitol was possible. But Shep, in the days leading up to January 6th, there were open calls on social media for violence to stop that election certification. And it remains unclear why the FBI and the Capitol Police didn't take those more seriously. Shep. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.